Let's compare and contrast the magnitude of storativity between confined aquifers and unconfined aquifers. Remember that in confined aquifers, you get water out of storage when the head decreases because of the compressibility of water and of the porous media. In contrast, in unconfined aquifers, water comes out of storage mainly because the water table is lowering and the pores are actually desaturating. You remain saturated in the confined case. In the unconfined case, these values are really pretty small. 5 times 10 to the negative 5 to 5 times 10 to the negative 3. In contrast, in the unconfined case, you're a couple of orders of magnitude bigger. You're up to 10 to the negative 2 to 5 times 10 to the negative 1. So about 1% of the entire amount of um, volume, all the way up to 50%. And the reason that you can get so much more water out of these unconfined aquifers for a drop in head is that this is really pretty close to the porosity of the rock itself. Yes, there's going to be some water that stays behind um, due to tension that's held against gravity. That's the specific retention. But the specific yield is, is pretty close to the porosity, and the porosity of some of these aquifer units can be really, really big.